This is the first octogenarian club organized in Florida. We have with us today 70 members that are from 80 to 95 years of age. I am 84 myself. In 1861, I enlisted in the War of the Rebellion at Warsaw in Benton County, Missouri under Colonel O'Kane, then a captain. We went to Cold Camp, fought the Dutch, and cleaned them out completely. Lost only seven of our men with more than 250 of the Dutch killed. No prisoners were taken on either side. From there, we went to Springfield, Missouri, where we had the Battle of Wilson Creek, where General Lyon was killed on the 10th of August. The bravest man I ever saw was General Lyon. After he was completely surrounded and pulled off of his horse, he picked up rocks and fought with thousands of men around him. He struck Will Morgan in the face with a rock, and John Morgan shot him with an old-fashioned horse pistol, killing him. How old are you? I'm 94. 94. Pretty good age for a young man. Yes, kid. Now you ask me how old I am. Well, how old are you? 84. 84. You was in the same... In the same war. Under the same general. Under the same general. General Price. That's good. Fine old man, too. Good man. Good man he was. Yes, he was. And we there to stay. We didn't enlist for a month or a year, but we enlisted for the war. As long as we lived or as long as the war lasted. That's right. Having a good time here today? Fine. We're having a good time. Enjoying ourselves. Enjoying ourselves very much. And had a good dinner, too. Very good. <laughs> employed 
in the office of a new illustrated evening paper. It was a sensation. Pictures of events of the day were printed at least two days after they happened. Nowadays, the illustrated papers print news sometimes a day before they occur. In those days, the theaters were located down Broadway in the neighborhood of Broome Street and Canal Street and Houston Street. Later on, the famous Wallach Theater was established at 13th Street and Broadway. Now, one of the greatest developments in the history of Broadway is this famous newsreel theater. Here, the audible events of the day and all the remarkable occurrences of the world are pictured for the education and the amusement of the entire community. It is a most remarkable, comprehensive, and intelligent achievement, the, the final outcome in the history of moving pictures. And so, in connection with this, I hope, ladies and gentlemen, you have seen me and you have also heard me. Mr. Cole, what kind of parents did you have? My father and grandfather were Baptist ministers. My grandmother and mother. mother were members of the Baptist church. What kind of an environment was you raised in? Well, I, I lived with my father in different places where he was preaching and tried to be a boy. How much of an education did you have? Public school in the different towns, academy, and seminary. What habits have you formed? I never drank anything, and I never don't smoke, never chew. I haven't any bad habits. What are your politics? Republican now. It used to be before the Republican Party, but we voted the Whig ticket. What kind of a world would you have if you could have it the way you want it? <clears throat> I would have people honest with each other and do away with their bad habits if they have any. And I guess that's all. What is your outlook for the future? I don't worry about the future. I'm going to live as long as I can and I'm happy in living. May there be no morning of the bar when you put out to sea. Arise, my soul. Arise. Shake off the That's all. We'll take the platform now. Hello, folks. How you feel? Good this morning? Hope you do. I'm trying to get on my feet again. Feel pretty good. Thankful it's as well as it is. Oh, boys, I'm pleased to see you. I don't know where you come from, but uh, I give you all the welcome I've got to offer you. And I want to tell you that I'm living on the same ground that I've lived on for 75 long years when I come here as an 18-year-old bride. I went to Washington 50 years and a little more ago. I saw all the people around there and been with the presidents. And uh, I learned a great many things up there that uh, I didn't know before. I'll add a little more to it. I was one of the board of lady managers for the Chicago Exposition. And I served my full time in, in Chicago and learned a good many things over there. I have been to, I was a delegate to the Tennessee Centennial Exposition. I was a delegate to St. Louis, a, a juror at St. Louis. I think for a North Georgia cracker of my size and age, I've had a pretty good education on that line. That do all right? 
I was a three-year-old girl when the Indians were moved from this country to Indian territory. I have an indistinct recollection of seeing the red men as they went through the woods, for everything was woods nearly at that time. I have a, a distinct impression, if a three-year-old child can have it. Nevertheless, I've been here since that time, and I've seen the march of progress all the way. At, my t at that time, there were, we had only stagecoaches, and we only had horses and buggies, and we had lots of footback travelers, you see. Now I've seen it come along all this way, and the airplane goes over this, over my house going on its way, and it's got to be such a common thing, the old girl don't go even out to see if she can look at it. Goodbye. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, John. Goodbye, John. Goodbye. 